She got abducted. <laughs> she got abducted in Santa Fe. I've been thinking of ways to make this summer fun for the kids without traveling a long way and um, without spending a lot of money. And I decided to get this inflatable bolt boat and I'm really excited about it. We were at the river the other day. Um, actually, I went out to get wood chips and went to the river with Justice and we had such a ball exploring this island um, and jumping in the water. And then we went and got our wood chips, came home and I, I told him, I said, hey, Justice, this summer, let's become river rats. So we, you can take an hour, go down to the river, swim, have a great time, and get home, and still have a really super productive day, but just have an awesome time down there, cooling off after working hard. That goes on here, it's like a little keel. Now we're probably not gonna use that much on the river. Why we build a boat for us to widen in the lake? Okay, boat. You want to get in the boat? Yeah. You get in the back. Are you floating down the river? Yeah. Floating down the river. You already know how to paddle. Where did you learn how to do that? Above the He just already knows. This is a very cheap vinyl inflatable kayak. We bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to it. I'm pretty excited about it. It is vinyl, so it's not tough as nails. It can get punctured, you can patch them. But it was very affordable, about $90. But I really think this is gonna be key to us having an awesome summer. So we'll do some river days, but probably more than that, we'll just do can we, an hour or two at a time out on the water. Can we keep Fishing this? and, That's what? Keep this. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Yay. Yeah. Fishing, exploring islands, and and um, exploring sections of very mild um, flat water. I need to go get a chick. Paul is here. He's visiting, and he brought his baby goat with him. Why did you bring a goat? You're you're driving many many miles. Why did you bring a goat with well, you? Well, <laughs> she was born with a little limp. And her mother would reject her, wouldn't feed her. And so I've been bottle feeding her. I had to go on the road and you know, wherever I go, she goes. And Do you, so, come here with me. You take her into gas stations and everything. Yeah, what if, what do people she say? She right along behind me. She's never been kicked out. <laughs> she, she eats the weeds. Come here. Wait, she's eating her plants. Oh, she's, no, she's eating the poison ivy. <laughs> she's eating poison ivy? Look at so that. So one of the, one of the services nice we offer. Right over here. <laughs> she usually will just stop and eat plants at the gas station, eat weeds and stuff. How old is she? She's about six weeks old. Oh, okay. She ate she's all so the poison pretty. ivy off the trees. It was growing okay, all over here and she ate all of it off of the tree here and all around. It's been a wild ride. She got abducted. <laughs> She got abducted in Santa Fe That's crazy. and was gone for four days. That's crazy. And by a miracle, um, some community came together. We got some anonymous tips and I got her back. I can't share everything because I told them if I get my goat back, I'll let bygones be bygones. But uh, It's a crazy story though. <laughs> it's a crazy story about an old lady who wanted my goat. For, did not get to and we it. don't know why. <laughs> We're not sure why. I mean, besides the obvious that she's adorable, extremely cute, but well, she, but that somebody would risk their job and criminal charges uh -oh. to abduct a goat just tells you something about how the magnetic personality of my little goat. <laughs> but it's been crazy. It was really fun traveling with her. It beats traveling alone. She just sits right next to my leg. When we stop, she gets out, pees, and then looks for weeds in the parking lot. She might be less trouble than a dog. Oh, much less trouble <laughs> than a dog. Quieter. <laughs> and because she's so cute, I think if it were a dog, I'd get more trouble. Yeah. She follows me into restaurants, yeah. anywhere. But 
I think people are just in shock probably. They, yeah, <laughs> they're just they've, like, never what? Kicked, they've never kicked me out. <laughs> in fact, there was one restaurant that had a mask policy. Yeah. And I don't travel with a mask. I, you know, whatever. I don't really have a dog in that fight. I just don't have a mask. Yeah. And so I just held a little goat over my face. <laughs> and they let me buy a burger. <laughs> so, you know. I think most coming handy. most businesses have a dog policy. Right. But I don't think most of them have a farm animal policy. Exactly. <laughs> they haven't addressed it at all in the we've rules. <laughs> we've stayed in two hotel rooms. And they don't ask. I don't, you know. <laughs> they never asked. Will you be having a goat stay with you? <laughs> she's a sweetheart. I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, like this when she's full grown. Cause she does sleep at my <laughs> at my feet in my bed. You know, I guess that's part of parenting is just dealing with uncertainties as your kids grow older. Well what think of the advantages of having a goat in your house. You could just get up and like milk your goat before you like even leave the <laughs> just kitchen. Take just, your coffee. <laughs> yeah, just direct <laughs> shot into the coffee. I have done that with her mom. Just go out, walk out in the morning with my coffee. Direct <laughs> shot. What do you think about the big goat? <laughs> it's really cute. Don't let them get you. They'll come. They'll come back. Yeah, check the raspberries. You think there's ripe raspberries? Yeah. I think it's too early. I think you should go check. Those fat fatties. Bring that raspberry to mommy, Grace. Honey, it's not ripe. Ooh! Okay, can I please have so, one? We planted these last year, so this would be the very first raspberry. Fruit fruit. Is it ripe? Oh yeah. I'm gonna say this to share with the boys. It's just amazing how food tastes food boys, straight off the vine. Don't Especially worry. Raspberries. In a couple of days, we're gonna have more than we even know what to do. With. Next year is gonna be. Oh, here's one. A ton. Is Ooh, one this right? one's really ripe. I'll take nope, it. Nope, we're giving it to Paul. Mm. He's the guest. Wow, what an honor. <laughs> Mmm. There's nothing like a fresh raspberry. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Look at her. She's so interested. That's so funny. She's like, what is this? She's more interested in the goat than us, for sure. Okay. I'm gonna hit that fence and gonna go. Give us a little show here. Ooh, it's okay, sweetie. I'm getting out of it. You play with horses just fine. It's just like a horse with a big nose. That's so funny. That is adorable. Come, don't sit Come here. She might have babies on her mind. Who knows? The best thing to me about the story about you getting your goat back is you knew the lady's name. You went in the phone book. You went online. You found every address that could be hers. And you, I don't want to say hunted her down. I but did. You hunted her <laughs> down. I, that was my little girl. I was getting her back. I just love that you did that. It was like the very last one that it could possibly be, and you got her. I got her back. Can you even imagine story. how it, awesome? It was It was pretty sweet moment when they handed her off to me. She did smell like perfume for about a day. Oh, yeah. Maybe, like, maybe that lady was like holding her and stuff. She must have. I don't know. Oh my but now she smells like goat. Goat again. <laughs> Which I like. Look at her raising the hair on her back. She's nervous. No, it's it's drizzle. Might be the Come here, sweet. Four leaf clover. Four leaf clover. What'd you find? <gasps> like tricky. How did? Oh, <laughs> this one's legit. That's legit. He's gonna feed it to her. Come on, sweetie. You need this good luck. <laughs> she's got some good luck already. <laughs> No, nope, you don't need good luck. Okay, you know, sweet thing. I'll eat it. <laughs> no, I've got the good luck. But she's a good-looking cow. She really is. Yeah, she is. Edible earrings. Oh my gosh, we got a business. <laughs> Edible earrings <laughs> for goats. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, really drop. Yeah, thanks for stopping Watch this. All right, first step, get all the bags off around this tarp. We're gonna pull this tarp up over the upper section, okay guys? I found a squirrel in my garden. And it's not mushy at all. Do you look what I found in my garden? How does your garden grow? Good, good, good. What are you doing? 
weeding. Pulling weeds out. This is so good that doesn't taste it like a um, of store strawberry or a golden strawberry. What does it taste like? It tastes like a sugar strawberry. A sugar strawberry. Mmm. Alright, Grace, pull it towards you more and lead me out so we pull the water off this side. Look at this rock. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Daddy, look. Wait, just wait. Oh! We're doing minimal prep on these beds. I'm just raking over the top. You can see these beds are really, really narrow, but they will widen up over the years as we're adding um, compost and organic matter on the beds. And they're actually perfect for what we're doing this year, which is growing kind of row crops in beds. It's a little strange, but that's just what we're doing. I think it's gonna work great. We're doing four rows of green beans here. Okay. We're planting a tenderet bush bean. On this other side, Grace is planting four rows of corn. Growing corn in beds is even weirder, but it's gonna work. Justice is going to plant corn in his garden. Joyful's working on beans here. Now something we're going to do this year that we've done some in the past, but I'm really a big fan of this is planting peas around almost everything. The beans are legumes and they fix nitrogen into the soil, but uh, corn essentially robs the soil of nitrogen and it's a pretty heavy feeder. It takes a lot of energy to make those big plants. So we're going to plant peas under all of them. We might get a little pea harvest in the middle of the summer. We could eat some pea greens, but the main point of this is just to try to cover the ground under the corn and fix nitrogen from the atmosphere into the soil in these corn beds as we go. No crows are watching us, you're right, but they know. They always remember right where you plant them. She's planting a row of corn right down the middle, and then we're gonna plant peas on each side out like this. This is what mamas do with sleeping. Just woke up from nap babies in the garden. You like being in the garden? There's baby plants in here now. So you can't walk on the dirt, okay? Okay. Only on the path. I see it. Do you hear it? I see it, my game. You see that airplane? The places that we've tarped are significantly closer oh, to weed free than anything that we had last oh, year at this time. Baby. Like if you look at the broccoli and the cabbage. Yeah, it looks amazing. There's so few weeds in there. Last year when they were that big, we were having to go through and just pull grass out of the whole thing. I just uncovered this crazy ant hole. Are those yeah. ants biting you? No. I'm not being there. I'm not there long enough. There they go. The crows are watching us. They're, they're flying off. The airplane flew away. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I'm sure. You're sure? No. Sure. Let's keep planting. Mm -hmm. So let's, these seeds you planted, you did a good job. Can you spread these four apart? Oh, you're going to dig it in. You're going to bury it. Yeah, I did. You did it. Okay. You can see there's uh, lettuce going out of this manure pile. And there's mustard greens there. Grace did a little experiment and just scattered some seed on here. And quite a bit of it grew. And so we're continuing the experiment just for fun. <clears throat> and planting peas and beans into this manure pile. I think that they'll probably grow. We'll see. It's a fun little experiment. Make sure you stick them down. They'll just get eaten off the top if you do that. But I'm hand cultivating, meaning hand weeding, this garden. Just because if I use any of my little weeding tools, um, all that'll happen in this rain is the because you kind of leave the weeds where they are when you use the weeding tools, and in this kind of weather they'll just. The, can I can I say something? The the weeds will just reroot into the soil, so I have to pull them out and move them out of the soil, so they're dying. Oh, it's a worm. Are you gonna eat it? 
No. Do geese eat worms? No. Not really. Do chickens eat worms? Yeah. Do you eat worms? Yeah. So I this eat. is just what we're doing. I Me eat worms. You eat a worm. I eat worms. We're just worms. spending some quality time together eating. Wilder wants to see beefsteak skull, which is up here on the post, so we'll pull it down and show it to him. You want to see it? What do you think? What was this cow's name? What was this cow's name? What do we call him? What was his name? That's Beefsteak's skull. What do you think? Give him hay. You're going to give him hay? That's too cute. We've planted almost half the open beds up here. Well, we planted half the open beds up here, so we planted four rows of beans over here, and we planted four rows of corn over here. Somehow Grace planted those four rows of corn at the same speed that three of us planted four rows of beans. I think it's because we had the baby. Could be. <laughs> she was fast. And she planted peas along the sides of the rows of corn, which we're planting our own weeds, basically. We're choosing and planting weeds. I do need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess I need an umbrella according to the two-year-old. Between Arthur working quite a bit lately and um, the rain, it's just been raining nonstop, we really need to get a full day in to this garden. Like, solid. Hard work for a whole day. Get all of our summer crops in and that will be such a relief to me to have that done and off my mind, especially with Arthur starting this barn project. Once we get our summer garden planted, we will be transitioning back into the spring garden. We'll keep harvesting. I've been harvesting and we'll actually be replanting some things. I want to either, I'm either going to put the, the bed to sleep till fall or I'm going to reseed it with um, and put shade cloth up and just see what happens. So if anything, I can chop and drop that and then plant the fall garden later on if it doesn't work out. Look at this. Look at it. Beautiful. Is that not beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. I better go finish making dinner. Hey guys, thanks for joining us so much today. It's been another great day in the homestead. We got a ton done today out in the garden. There's a lot of stuff we didn't actually show you that we did, like move the cow, plant willow trees along the creek. Anyway, we'll cover that stuff later. Hope you had a good time joining us, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.